So today I am heading out into a woodland. It's a secret location. I'm not going to be sharing uh, its whereabouts. I've had special permission to go there and what I'm going to do is a hammock wild camp. So really lightweight, really stealthy, low impact and uh, I will explain a little bit more about that in a moment. This is a Nikon D800 with the uh, 24 to 70. It is an incredibly, incredibly sunny day when the sun wants to shine. As I don't have any sort of a uh, shield, uh, official shield for the screen, I'm just using my cap here. Don't know if you can even see the screen. There we go. Just setting up for the shot. Just using that to shade my view. It's working very well. I've just filmed myself walking up this uh, bit of track here having also filmed myself coming the other way I'm documenting my progress won't necessarily use all of the uh, all of the footage so that's my view and my setup d800 80 to 200 mil lens. Bit of a break in the sunshine, so I'm just waiting for the clouds to uh, move across. It's getting really warm. I have just walked by this. Two beehives. Really rather nice, if you know how to treat them. Keep your distance. Lovely. I was thinking I might sit down here, have a spot of lunch, a little bit of water, rehydrate a little bit, but because of those bees, I don't think that's probably the wisest, uh, wisest move. Now, there may be some rain on the way. There's my view looking up to the sky. If we do have some, I don't think it's going to be coming too much. I think it's going to just be a quick shower, but I'll be very glad to get undercover, get the tarp set up, get base set up, and then I can continue with my filming. Okay, time to go into the woodland. Now this should be fun. <laughs> there are some very low hanging branches here. My camera on the tripod is as compact as I can make it. Uh, perfect. <sighs> Do you want to see my view? There it is. A little walk just to get through there. Now I'm starting to get excited. Over there in amongst those tall trees, I have just seen some deer. Now I know that they're in this woodland. I saw them this morning. It would be an absolute dream if I could capture them on my film. Maybe first thing in the morning, that would be nice. I need to be up at the crack of dawn and that's gonna be my best opportunity. If I don't get them, it's not the end of the world, but it would be really nice. I've just, <laughs> just seen a glimpse of them just as they were running through and I, I wasn't, of course, set up in any way, shape or form. But there we go. Another quick detail shot. Really nice. Wasn't expecting to get that. Right, time to find somewhere to uh, set up the tarp. It has been a really productive afternoon. The weather has held off for me. It's starting to get a little bit more uh, breezy. The clouds coming in a little bit. Still not looking like it's gonna rain. So what I thought I'd do is just show you quickly what my kit is here. Okay, so this bag here is a Van Gogh. It's a Nanga 50 plus 10 S. 
really nice. Uh, it's on review at the moment. Loads of space in it. Uh, it's got really nice features. Zip down the side here, which means you can get all the way inside if you want to, rather than having to open up, uh, open up the top like that. Looking at the other items here, there's no particular order. Uh, this here, although it does say that it's a microfiber towel, um, I actually didn't like the microfiber towel that came in there. That is just my uh, wash kit, as in uh, washing up after meals, um, it's got toiletries, that sort of thing. Quite obvious here, this is my first aid kit. This here is a down jacket. Not that I think I'll need it on this occasion, but you never know. In here, let's just move around for you. Okay, in here, you can see again, it's a Van Gogh. It was another review item some time ago. Uh, the gourmet set, that's um, pots and pans. I've just got the one pot with a lid in there. In fact, I can open that up just to show you. There we go. And just for uh, space saving, in here, you can see I'm keeping my uh, my food, it's uh, bolognese and rice tonight, that's the plan. And although I don't tend to eat packet foods, whenever I am doing an overnighter, these uh, Tesco oats, I combine the, uh, the apple and blueberry with the original, that's enough just to keep me going first thing in the morning. Over here, my trusty jet boil, this is the jet boil sole, they don't make it anymore. Gas, uh, not specifically jet boil, I'm not sure which one, this is, this is one that I'm just using up. There's a little bit left in here. Uh, just a generic sort of thing. There is also in here, incidentally, those of you that are wondering about jet boils, it stores a small, oops, there we go. Let's see if I can show you this. There we go. It stores inside the fuel for it and the burner and the stand and everything. Um, so that's that's all of that. That's basically uh, my kind of cookware and little items and all that sort of thing. Oh, the other thing to tell you is uh, this bag here, again in a dry bag, obviously you've seen the hat, but this is uh, clothes. So the yellow thing here is um, a long sleeve base layer. Uh, I think I've got a spare pair of socks and a few odds and ends in there. Let's move over to here. On the top of these uh, pouches, this is a Manfrotto, I think they call it the stunt pole. Uh, it's basically a selfie stick. That's what I've been using today. Uh, if you want to have a close up of the kind of the mechanism, there we go, that's what it looks like. And it's part of their off road, uh, their off road series. So these two pouches, one of them uh, has uh, just odds and ends in at the moment. And this one, this is the main thing. This this one here actually is what I have been keeping my um, the D800 with the uh, with the 24 to 70 attached. This one here, uh, and you'll see in a minute that I'm uh, been using the uh, been using it up here. But in here at the moment, you've got the 24 to 70 notepad and pen. This in here is, uh, there are some batteries in there, but it's uh, my audio kit because I'm going to be recording uh, a podcast. In here, a little Peli case that's got memory cards in. Electrical tape because you always need electrical tape. Uh, that's a shutter release, electronic shutter release for sort of longer exposure so you don't have to accidentally um, uh, move the tripod and create blur. What else we got in here? Uh, the other thing at the bottom here, this here is um, the battery pack from a um, Power Traveler Power Monkey. Uh, or Power Monkey Extreme, I think it is. Uh, that's basically a re uh, recharger. So tonight I can charge up my phone. That's uh, the reason I've got that. So over here, uh, I already said this is your D800 with the 80 to 200 attached. Get so tripod. <clears throat> now, <laughs> don't know if you can pick up, the, the, the wind is getting up here and it is looking as though we might have some rain, who knows, could be quite exciting.